ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for last night's real MVP. Hope that was worth the flag. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to tonight's Plumes of Hazards. I'm Espasso9 and these are my co-hosts. Muted, right now, not ready. We will go to Fubaka. Sup. And still muted, yet not yet ready. Jazzy Label Shantava! Welcome. Logify everyone. Holy crap, dude. Three weeks. So are we doing a are we doing a three weeks with your finger and it's still red? What? Your finger. It's been like three weeks. Is my, is my finger red? Yeah, you're red. You can oh, your yeah. red finger. It is a little yeah. red, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's actually just fine. I'm telling you, it got fucked up. Like that the swelling was so bad. Well, there we go. It really, really messed my finger up. But it, it actually I love it I really love this gift. This good. is just this is what? just what was the song, by the way, that you said we we're going to get flagged for? <laughs> the one that I just played. <laughs> well, I mean, no, I don't know. I played. I played a part. I played the. I played a part that was. Uh, it's uh, the Veneno song. Oh, that's you recognize it now. Mm. It's a good you song. Recognize it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I remember. Uh, I remember Red Biggles putting that on in the car, fucking doing. 65 miles an hour on whatever highway we were on. Just yeah. Wizardry. <laughs> There's, it's a good driving song. That was a young P. Bissardo. <laughs> that was not a young P. Bissardo. Kippa, 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 well, you Warm know, ups. it's it's best it's best to do this um, while it's fresh on your mind, best, right? Best served when hot. <laughs> All right. Okay. Have you tried cleaning this thing yet? I have nope. not tried cleaning it. Like cleaning it out. Mm -mm. I'm not even gonna. Well, first of all, so I, I I I it's already in the trash, but I took it. I took the um, the because uh, this had. Um, three mil juice and I vaped it down and, and I did, I'm like, well, I left it in there for like two, three days, you know, kind of empty. Mm. So I'm like, shit, I want to use it tonight. And, um, dude, it's impossible to get everything out of here. Like, yeah. well, you it's, I mean, it's an in built tank. What are you going to do? Right. It's just like trying to clean out a pot or something. I know, dude, you but, to, but like, if there's a difference between an in built tank and, and one that doesn't have a freaking ring on the bottom that you can't do and remove or, or clean around. So there's a, there's a gap between the ring and the glass. It's like a spacer, not not the not the O-ring that you guys took out. Not that white spacer. No, no, not that white spacer. There's like another plastic piece. I'm not sure, but it's hard it's hard to show it in there. Um, it would be nice to just be able to. I'm about to take the whole fucking mod apart to take the tank off. <laughs> um, so something. I'm like, all right, well, no big deal. I'm just gonna you know pour some water and clean it. Up. Then I forget the fucking. Glass has this like in or the, it has an indent here and it just drips mm -hmm. all through the in, in, inside of that. I'm like, man, I can't wait to take this bitch apart and see how fucking wet it is inside. I was just going to, so, when, when that time comes for me, I was going to just toss some 91% in there, shake it about. I know. did. I, I tossed some hundred and freaking 90% in there and still. <laughs> Kyle says suction, glass shattering suction. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. The wall. That does it too. <laughs> but anyways, no, and and I noticed the uh, my uh, the um, the little uh, they call it the slipstream system. This guy, 
um, the whole bottom was just completely came off. I didn't, I, you know, just taking that out of the tank, like it had completely separated from the bottom. Oh, really? Yeah. So I have it in the trash. I might have to pull it out to look at it, but it was weird. It like it came apart. Well, I told you mine rattled when I, my first one that I put in there, and I asked you about that, and you said that yours did too. Yeah, mine did too. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't. Know, I don't know if that was part of it. <coughs> so, but DRB. Anyways. 328 just said, I twist a paper towel and shove it down there in my breeze. So that works for most people. And when I have already got my Adig or whatever cleaned the first time, that works for me. That does not work for Mass Blast 09. Mass Blast 09 has that, that's just pristine. It's well, clean boy. Know, man. You know, if, if I'm trying, if I'm trying some people's juice or something like that, I, I don't know. Look, it's, it's different going. Okay, so Ahmed knows the, the the profile of this that was in here, and, and you do too. You know, going from going from that to something like, uh, um, you know, my my tea or or something. It's just I don't know. Mm. You, you just still, I mean, you could you know that that leftover juice is good thing they sent us too, my dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I actually think my coil just about needs a change on this. Because this is the same coil I had in here last week. Yeah, I do have I do have some bits and bobs about this, some mini crucifixions, if you will, some some nitpicks. I figure while we're on the topic. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know if you can call them crucifixions though. They're just no. Uh, no here's the thing. No. I like so I was thinking about this when I was making dinner earlier. I like this mod eighty percent. Eighty percent is pretty fucking good in my book. Ooh. My little gripes are a filling it. I'd say half of my refills have resulted in a little bit of. Right, because yeah. yeah, you, you got to be you got to be cognizant of that of that. Yeah, fill so line. don't fill this before yeah. you go to do groceries. You know, don't do it at all hurriedly. <laughs> um, but after a refill and I drop the coil back in, I have like a funky hit or two. Not terrible, but it's like it's a little, you know, like cottony tasting type thing. Mm. But My, after yeah. it, it settles off, and I you know I'll suddenly hit this passively watching TV and it's fine. Um. <laughs> I do. I, should, I, I mean, that's the thing. So small sample size because it's the first coil. I think if the slip stream system was a little bit different. I mean, did your cottony uh, taste that you had last week go away? It did eventually. Uh, yeah. yeah. So well, it, it's more consistent now because I think it's time for this coil to go. You're right. Mine, mine, you know, it says to let it soak for five minutes or whatever. And I actually let it soak for a couple hours and uh, that wasn't good enough. It needed to be vaped a bit. To get yeah. it bust, kind of busted, and it's good. But my problem is with the with the state of my throat. Um, I have not been able to take what this thing needs as a proper like hit hit because I've got yeah. a polishman in there, and a polishman's cold, and that's not jiving with my throat right now. So um, it's the cottony taste did go away though. It just took a little vaping. So I figured I figured we put some heavy hitters in there right now to just get over any of the other tastes. How about what you know about that extra steeped? PB and jammed. Oh dear! I'm Look at that! Look at that logo! That's not that FDA friendly label. Look at that logo! That's the logo, baby. This is the break all the rules logo. Um, also, yeah, that was my other thing. This coil did take a little while to break in, so I was vaping it during the show. I don't think the coil was properly broken until the following morning. Yeah, yeah, that's probably uh, right. Yeah, it took about a tank and change to get it to where I thought it was good. That said, I don't think it's a bad product. I wouldn't buy this expecting it to be an all-day device. Right. It should be fucking 1,200 ma. It charges in like a couple hours. is good. It's just a neat little backup. Or, yeah. You know, like I said, I, I size this up perfectly. It's <laughs> yeah, like a absolutely. For the, small for the, for the mod. Yeah. Keep it around somewhere. Yeah, have this a know. dedicated looping mod. There you go. Oh, you, you know how we do. Boom. Um, by the way, I do do want to say that the concern that I had about refilling wasn't entirely un unfounded. To, when you take this thing off and it does have liquid still in it, like if you're going to top it off before you're leaving or whatever, uh, yeah. I found that you can do, if you just, you know, kind of get it done and yeah. then turn it upside down, That's that will give you enough time before it makes a big mess or whatever to refill. So it's not it's not bad. It, it, yeah, the only, the only problem with that, though, is, is that it will run down the sides and then get into the air. And that air cavity is really hard to clean because you got to get in between there. Yeah. It's a nifty I just design. It, I just laid it down on the. Yeah, it is. I mean, size wise, it's great. I yeah. Mean, but you know, just because we like, or just because we hate, or not necessarily hate, but disagree on certain things, 
uh, doesn't mean it's not a good device. No, but we're also not going to be, you know, we don't drink the Kool-Aid and be like, oh, this is the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. So we give it to you how it is. Uh, one thing I think, one of the pros that I would list on there is, is these little tiny, like all, all in one devices and stuff. Almost all of them are mouth long or very restricted long. Yeah. One of the things I think is really neat about this one, this is not. If you open this thing up, this yep, thing it'll open. breathe. I don't know any other pauses or whatever that they can do that. That's I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of cool. And I made a mess by did you Anxie, did you see the picture of um of the uh the uh Addy you showed for the uh belt box last week? That Mizzou one? Yeah. What about it? They uh I don't remember which group it was, but they posted a picture of it at the assembly line of them being milled and yeah. And get out. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I see, the yeah. at Mizzou posted um they actually yeah. posted a uh, a picture on their on their oh, page. Okay. Which I, I, I saw it go up on my Facebook, but I didn't know if you had to grab the image or not. <sighs> I uh, I didn't grab it because I wasn't really gonna talk about it because Oh, okay. Well there's they said that slated for the end of the uh, it's slated for the end of the week, I think is what they're saying. And this is the yeah. picture that I saw. And this this might be different than yours, but this is the one that I saw. Sneak nope, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Vape shell is they're doing some QC and, and whatever. But yeah, it is it's it's cool. Um they're talking about uh late week. End of the week. Yeah. Rushing for release at the end of the week. I, I hate it when they say this. I, I don't I don't like to see rushing. Um there's there's no rush. Uh, Everybody's get, rushing. Get get QC done. Get QC done properly. I, I'd much rather see that than than rushing along. Yeah, those new coils definitely got some cotton. Nee, 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 nee. They do. They need a little break in, that's for sure. Um, well, I was going to launch into the next thing, but we kind of got distracted. You want to do what we're vaping on? Boom. Yeah. Because I got three things going tonight. Oh. Uh, I got the pocket box with the, with the this one reserved in there. So Jeremy's asking. How, what do they think of the odds of him replacing his DNA 200 fuse with that reflow? It's small, but I was able to solder SMD caps in the Raptor days. Well, it, I, I think it depends on how old the board is and how much spooka you got on that bottom area <laughs> because it'll start that, peeling those. Things. Wait, is that a technical term? <laughs> yes. Yes, spooka. it is. Schmutz. How much, how much spooka you got on the, uh, on the bottom of that, you know, because that's usually where the shit collects. So. Um, so yeah, so I think it depends on how old the board is because we know that some of those early boards delaminated down there, mm -hmm. uh, and how much liquid could be around there. So you know, you know what um, I'm saying too. Uh, it also depending on how old it is. Reach out to Evolve. Yeah, they're, they're really good people, and if they charge you something for it, it will probably be a lot less than you trying to rebuild the mod. Than the hassle. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, no problem in you trying to do it yourself, but. You know, uh, you know, I've seen them get boards where people have tried to do it themselves, and they still sure. will replace it for you. Um, but you know. if nothing else, just just reach out to them and maybe send them a picture. Say, hey, this is what this is what happened. Can I fix this, or do you know how I can fix it, or you have parts for it, or can I switch it out for one? And they may trade you for it, right? They may they may send you a new one for a nominal fee or whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah, they're 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 pretty cool. Wor worth a try. It's worth a try. Uh, anyway, guess, sorry, Ahmed, go ahead. It's all good. Uh, I got some cracker in the Lamo, in the Narca, and I have Foos Gold in the Skyon on the Hex NA. Ooh, I haven't seen the Hex NA in a while. Yeah, I'm, I had to think to myself when I get when I was setting this up. I'm like, DNA two. Oh, yes. <laughs> And it was actually on my desk this whole time. Where is things going? <coughs> where'd you get that? Did you get that for Will? Third? Like it. I mean, it's like a DNA Evolve reference, a uh, DNA reference mod, except it's got a better 510 on it, IMO. Mm. Oh, really? This. Yeah, the, the reference mod of the Evolve 510, this has the Varitube 510 on it. Oh, gotcha. It's got the little. Where's my focus? 
got that little hex button on there. Oh, yeah. I forgot it had the hex button on it. That's fun. So, yeah, that's what I got going. All savory vapes tonight, baby. Mm. Did you uh, did you say something about rail cracker? <laughs> you should have just you should have just had uh, uh, yeah uh, you know with all these train crashes you should have just had the bottles just <laughs> that would have been a great joke. joke. It's just a great great joke. we're both we're both great. making rail cracker after I'm dragging a bunch of assholes. That's what it is. <laughs> Well, What's up with that, right? man? It's like it's like every every other day, you know. These fucking trains. That, I mean, you know, it's it's not like they can take right and left turns right in front of you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Where the um, fuck is Superman when you need him, man? Right. Anyway, but uh, speaking of Rogue Rider, that is in my limelight freehand gloom. Uh, on top of here, I switched up my eddies. I've got my uh, my Haku Phenom bag on here with the uh, black black Ultim cap. And a white uh, omen tip, O style, on top. Um, that has primarily been what I've been vaping on. Now, that said, I've been trying to do some testing of other things, um, uh, which I'll mention here briefly um, on the uh, on an old uh, Evolve reference. This is the the non fancy version of what Foo's got. Mm. Just, a, just a normal normal beat up case from Evolve. Um, uh, I've got the Scion uh, version two on top of here, and I'd like to talk about this one a little bit later, but. Um, what I put in here was uh, Coil Vapes um, Funnel Cake. Um, so I put that in here because I figured to do something a little bit different. Um, but the problem, and the, here's the problem that I'm going with this thing, is this is a high wattage, high airflow tank. And with my voice and lungs the way they are right now, that's it's not doing too hot. Speaking of not doing too hot, I also finally broke out the Swaron Drop uh, to give this thing a try. And, uh, run. and I've got salts in it, you know, 50, 54 oh. milligrams or whatever salts. And it's the same thing. I'm like, sip, sip. Oh, it's a, <laughs> you know, just cough my head off. Punch you. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll talk about this a little bit. Though. Uh, that's that's primarily what I've been vaping on. I did I did also bring out the old Jewel uh, this last week as well. Uh, just Jewel to have on hand. Madison, you said you, you already revealed wow. what you're vaping on tonight. Yep, yep. I'm uh, I'm hitting the uh, pocket box, <laughs> pocket box. I should have just called it pocket pool box. Um, and uh, I got good old stash PB and Jam. Uh, PB and you could call this PB and Jam Reserve Reserve Reserve. Double Reserve. Yeah. Um, Pre FDA double, double packaging. Label. And he's had his he's had his current labels for a long time at this point. <laughs> About a year, year and a half now. Yeah. Yeah. And that I'll tell was, you what, that that dark star that I got though, dude, that stuff just keeps getting better. I mean, I'm sure it's going to come to a point where it's not yeah. going to change flavor anymore. But my OG Foo's Gold started fading flavor. <laughs> Did it, it made me yeah. sad because I had like another, I had like a bottle and a half left, and I was like, "Could you, um, could you uh, throw a mixer and put it in the uh, in a flask and and heat it up and get it?" I think, think it's old. Nick is just completely. I think the Nick and also the flavor, he just fades. It's, it's just old at this point and yeah. too oxidized. Yeah. yeah. Much sad. Nice. Mucho sad. So I guess officially rip OG Foo's gold. I know William still has a bottle, mm. but my bottle is no longer vapable. It's so how about that? that. How, how about that game last night? <coughs> the wild. Wow. It's a good game, man. I, I personally, I like to see a little more defense. There are more defensive big plays mm. as opposed to a shootout, but nonetheless, it was a good game. Commercials were horrible. Worst I'm sorry, you can't I've take humor seen. in awkward Eli no. Manning doing dirty dancing. No, no, no. <laughs> no. The best commercial was the 30 seconds of dead air that made me think my TV had died. <laughs> Mass, you don't I think appreciate uh, shit. I, uh, as soon as as soon as that happened, I texted a buddy of mine who works for uh, shall not be named uh, large corporation that uh, deals with all the connections that happen between the uh, fields and um, 
uh, news stations and all that other stuff. He travels all over the U.S. doing all that. And uh, I was like, hey, so what's ballpark on that? He goes, well, I can tell you. He he goes, he goes, you can you can kick a show off the air anytime. No one cares about that. You mess with ad revenue, yeah. you got a big problem there. So, yeah. um, and he said that uh, luckily it didn't affect um, everybody because that was uh, it was really whatever the that was going to be a spot for your local uh, advertising stations. Mm-hmm. And uh, but yeah, it was in the in the very high millions. Yeah, I'm sure. So, um, but yeah, yeah, I'm sitting there like watching. I'm like, what? Dead air? Holy <laughs> shit! That's the worst time. Somebody's losing a shit ton of money right now. It should just put like a little dollar figure in the corner. Like, yeah. <laughs> just counting. <laughs> have the have the counter start from the from right to left and just be like, bing, 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 bing. just freaking going off the chain. Bing. Swing, swing, swing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was uh, uh, Jason Sands asked me in chat. I answered. He's like, "What's the best way to deal with old expired juices?" I was saying I dump them in the sink. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. it's That's not like I'm flush, not it's not like I'm flushing a bag of ecstasy down the toilet. That shit's terrible. <laughs> yeah, um, but right. yeah, I mean, I don't. Dude, I've I'm, straight bend it before. I've thrown. I've, I've washed it on the sink before. Um, yeah. Oh, really bad juice. Yeah, I'm sure I've sent you videos where you see the bottle in my hand and it's in the garbage can. Absolutely. Like super aggro. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I don't think there's... I mean, yeah, that's like one of the... Yeah, people f- wash some really terrible shit down the sink. I don't think... Uh, expired yeah, like drugs? Like yeah, like drugs. They just dump the drug. No, like I'm talking about like prescription drugs. Yeah, yeah like toilet, pump, expired you know, cough syrup is that... Could you imagine having a man? Antibiotics. Antibiotics are probably the worst thing you could flush down the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, because then you get fucking the green machine growing down there and he comes out of the fucking sewer. Yeah, fuck you, yeah you get the he's, toxic he's Avenger. That's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> fucking a mixture between the toxic Avenger swamp thing and Chloe Kardashian coming out of the fucking uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking sewer and you can't kill it. <clears throat> That, just, well, you know, you've, you, I'm sure you've seen those specials. That they, they, uh, they've talked about the, uh, the fat lump, the fat bergs. Oh like, yeah, down there, right? Like the, yeah. just the whole, all the lipids and stuff like stick together and just attract all this other shit and just plug up our sewage uh, systems. Yeah. And those guys have to go down there and freaking clean that shit out. So I used to, I used to work for a city around here. Uh, this was back in 2000, mm-hmm. and. Um, they moved the location that we were in uh, the year after I left. They moved it down by the ship plant. And uh, in the meet, you know, while I was there, there was a lot of transferring stuff. And we got to see, um, like, how the ship plant worked. Mm-hmm. And, uh, dude, the augers that they have pulling all the solids, it's this, I don't even know, uh, six foot round auger. And it just goes right into a dumpster. Yeah. I'm like, how? <laughs> the fuck did that come through the pipe. Uh, yeah, you know, food, people right, the flushable wipes are the devil. That's that's true. That those yeah. guys talk about that because it's one of the primary problems of the or the primary like structure of those things yeah. is the flushable wipes because apparently none of them are actually flushable. They just yeah. call them flushable. Uh, on yeah. marketing, but like all the sewage guys are going, fuck you, flushable. This shit doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, it won't clog up your shit. It'll just be your municipality's I love, problem. I love that horror. <laughs> He's on septic, though. <laughs> Jason, uh, Jesus, I started a po tangent on sewage. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, it's it's a thing. I was talking about my brother the other week. Like, you know, the well, the, the exfoliating face wash with the plastic beads in it, and they got rid of those because plastic doesn't break down. Right. Yeah. Well. Well. I mean, you are putting, you know, a very, very minute amount of nicotine down, uh, down the drain. But you know, uh, I think in the grand scheme of things, mm, shit. Um, by the time it reaches the actual sewage, you know, or you could be like horror, and he's just got a fucking science experiment growing in his backyard because he's got septic. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I do science experiments in my backyard. Like last summer, I had a. I forgot about a watermelon in my fri- in my garage fridge. <laughs> Did it grow hair? To the point where it started shrinking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I have I have several large rocks in my backyard, so I took it, 
I smashed it against a rock and just let it sit in the corner of my backyard with all the dirt. Dude, everything went away. It just I, I fed my soil. I did. I did. Yeah. The you guys, you guys have uh, septic out there, Angsty? No, probably not. Right. City sewage here. Out yeah. east. Like, no, I, was, I had it when I was a kid. I had it when yeah. I was growing up, but but no. I didn't think that the, the ground was permeable enough in that area to. <laughs> well, because you gotta, you got you gotta have, you know, the the drain field has to be able to drain. I mean, you can't just have yeah. standing water. If you go right. like forty minutes east of me, that's where you will have a. Uh, People having septic tanks. You have like larger lo plots and stuff. So, yeah. So, the new septic tanks are freaking crazy. They got the the tanks that, you know, basically I call them sh shit stirs. They got a fucking paddles and they stir the shit and all this. Old school septic tanks, man. Freaking concrete, freaking uh, yeah, it's a concrete tank. Uh, tank. Yeah. And you throw bacteria down there sometimes. That's about it. Um, yeah. Word of advice don't be a teenager. And flush your to your condoms down the toilet, and then have your parents standing outside wondering why the septic tank is backed up, <laughs> and they just float to the top, and the dudes <laughs> just, just, as, a point, just as a general point, just as a general point, right? Just not, yeah. not that you know. But. Ah, you found nope. my monster condom for my magnum no. <laughs> 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 the, the neighbors learned the lesson real quick. I was just watching over the fence. Um, uh, Will, actually, yes, two thirds of Texas is on a pretty. Uh, we do, we do have a very large aquifer up here, yeah, especially yeah, in this part of the state. The other week, I was uh, reading an article in uh, uh, fucking aquifer, so the, and everybody's got septic tanks. What's it called in New Orleans? Didn't they they cleaned out like forty tons of plastic beads from decades of Mardi Gras? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> like you think? Sure. I was I was talking to Senor Flowers about this. I'm like, you'd think in a city that's under sea level and has flooding problems, should they be more diligent about it? <laughs> I, I can't. Love, I love the, the storm sewers down there have to be just full of them. Oh, just, no. Well, I mean, I think they, they just pulled 40 tons. I think they'll be good for another 30 years. Maybe. I love how Josh is all excited about going from, from a septic to city sewer. You're not going to be happy when you start getting the bill. <laughs> Dude, it's cheap here. Nah, here, here, dude. The, how much water you use is how much sewage you use. So, uh, are they use, separate here? They you know, they charge the water and sewage as a separate. Yeah, I mean, this they, they charge know. water and sewage separate, but the way that they figure how much sewage you're putting in is how much water you're using. Right. Sure. So, I mean, okay, in the grand scheme of thing, it's like twenty twenty five bucks, but that's yeah. twenty five dollars you weren't paying a month before. But I guess you would have to come get your. Your tank pumped out every what two three years, depending on usage. So I guess it evens. Yeah, out. It, it evens out, and that's and that's what I was gonna say. I, I mean, twenty five to thirty bucks. Like, as long as my shit goes away, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Small bye price bye. to pay. The one to sniff your shit. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Well, that was a good diversion. Um, yeah, it was, useful. <laughs> it was a useful diversion. It was a useful diversion. It's actually like a, a topic I, you know, me and my siblings are discussing over a meal. <laughs> Speaking of cleaning and sewage, mm. I do have uh, something to talk about. Oh shit! I didn't get I didn't get a link. Now uh, forget me. I'll I'll come back to me in just a minute. I got right. I got something. This, I got something we can show. Yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Ahmed. Go I, ahead. I was going to talk about the sky on. Do it. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. So yeah, the last one that we got was shit. Um, in a untelevised hangout, I may or may not have slammed into the garbage can in front of friends. <laughs> um, it was just that the coils were shit. You remember, like, Massey took apart good. the toilet paper, he cotton coil. Anyway, I didn't use one of these uh, Barrett 50 cal coils. They're fucking huge. Uh, yeah. These two? Look Massey, at that shit. You want to take one of these things apart, Massey? Huh? You want to take one of these Scion V2? Let uh, me get my oh, handy dandy caliper here and put the battery back in, as you know. <laughs> I, can, um, I can do it if yeah. you want me to do it. It's fine. No, I can do it. Yeah, we'll take it apart. Let's do it. <clears throat> um, anyway, so find... while Messi gets that set up, that they are they're no joke. I those things are yeah, like like Will just said, TFV two thousand. I don't. I've never had any of the the TFV eight whatever coil. Uh, what do they call it? V eight. Revan turbo engines, mm. like eighteen never, millimeters, dude. Yeah, I don't doubt that those. It's not only that the coil head itself is huge, 
The coil is enormous. Uh, wait, I can get the internal diameter of that. <coughs> Let me bring the camera. Eight over. millimeters, dude. Yeah, and it's like eight millimeters of like parallel, uh, something thick, whatever the fuck is 100 that. Hundred to two hundred watts. No, thank you. That's 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 where we come down to. Is it's it's a the there's two different coil heads. One of them was. 100 to 200, the other one was like 90 to 180 or something like that. I have to go back and look. But the one that the one that came in it uh, is the one that I'm running in here at the moment. I dialed. Uh, I had to break up break up my my old uh, DNA 250. Uh, I'm dialed up to uh, 91.1 watts because I figured maybe Evolve is smart enough to call 911 if I die trying to vape this thing. So uh, any, in any case, uh, I decided I was happy that it came with the. RBA deck as I uh, showed last week. Yeah. Um, time came to build. I went full. What the fuck does that mean? I went full Bizarro because I pulled out calipers. <laughs> Am I, I looking clicked. especially greasy today? Just, just so you know, I clicked on Masty so we can, so we can see. So yep. always taking apart the coil. So time came to build it. I couldn't find my spool of twenty six gauge. I don't know what the fuck it is. They include two clap. They include a pair of Clapton coils. And they're pretty good Claptons. Uh, they're 0.45 when you mount them, ish. And uh, I put Foose Gold in here, 75 watts. I haven't vaped this high in a very long time, mind yeah. you. And my nick has also gone up some, four and a half and six range. So my first couple of pulls, I was like, oh, fuck, I'm nick high. Yeah. Well, plus uh, the, the airflow, the airflow controls, I didn't think it had one. And I don't think you did either. No, yeah, you explained um, to me that it does. Yeah, I, I had to jack around with this a little bit. It one of the things I was going to say that's a positive about this is, while I didn't think it had uh, airflow adjustment, it actually does, and it's and it's got indexes in there. Like they click, it clicks, it clicks. Um, it it also I, th I think is it the same mechanism as the top fill because it it operates off of a where's the thing? You push the fill right, and there's a if you look through the drip tip. Uh, let me get let me get some zoom in. You want to click on? All right. Yeah, I clicked. I clicked on you for a minute. My bad. I'm gonna have to sacrifice this coil. You see that little? You see a little ball bearing in there? Yep. Yeah. So ball bearing, smart. Yeah. And by the way, that that thing works, in my opinion, a little bit better than the Aries does. It's really clicky. The refill yes. thing. Um, for what this is, uh, it's pretty good. Flavor's not bad. Um, I just, this isn't, I mean, you know me with tanks. I didn't go about 40, 45 watts in my billow. Yeah. For what this is, it ain't bad. So I'm pretty impressed, I, I know, Anakin. I completely, this is so not the way I vape. I just don't. All my tanks are 20 watts. Um, but that said, it's really pretty damn good. If you get the airflow turned out, for me, the airflow wide open, the way it comes is so much air. It's just. You'd probably have to be running it at 200 watts to get flavor out of it. It's been so long, William, since I've watched the Bastardo review that I forgot he uses calipers. I am a terrible <laughs> reviewer-ish. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I actually do need a new set of calipers because those I got for like six or seven dollars on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, price. I need something that has a more comprehensive battery cover because most electronic calipers I've seen, digital ones. Will eat your batteries when they're off. Yeah. They do, even up to like the sixty, seventy dollar ones. So something that has a more intuitive battery cap that I can pull off more yeah. readily would be fine. <sighs> Got to do some shopping. Yeah. Um, or I could just get analog calipers. Um. <clears throat> so I don't have my. Uh, I don't have my. Um... Oh yeah, do I have one? Let's get me one second. <laughs> <clears throat> I uh, so I completely agree. And by the way, if you ever want to watch a really funny video on that, uh, AVE has got a great video on. He goes and breaks down his cheap, shitty cal calipers, and then shows what good ones do. And he goes through and he tries to upgrade and fix the cheap, shitty ones, and all the way down to like sanding them and getting them just right. Getting the the yeah. Anyway, it's it's pretty fascinating. And he also shows you how they work, which I was fascinated by. Um, yeah. and if you don't watch AVE, you should totally watch an AVE. Um. But they, that is one. That's one thing that you're absolutely right, Fu. They they do cons even when they're on power saving mode or whatever off. 
they trickle power and those little button batteries don't have that. Yeah, power. I watched a review or something he was going through. He went, dude went and hooked up his power supply, basically took off the battery and hooked up leads to see how much. Yeah. Or no, he had the battery in there and was testing it off. Yes. And like average was like, I want to say it was like 28 microamps. Something like that. That's that's probably about right. It's uh -huh. I mean, I've had one set of button batteries in mind for months and months and months and they're fine but that there is a reason why i have a little thing of button batteries because those, those are for my calipers <laughs> um so th there's uh festy saying he can't find many calipers between a stare and harbor crate that's true uh the ones that i think ABE likes are the mitsutoyo ones uh which Starrett are have been recommended crazy expensive stare it stare it make uh they make uh mill cal or uh, mill not calipers uh dial indicators uh, they make yeah. a lot of indicators and stuff, so I'm sure the calipers are probably great. Um, That's as far as we're going with this. So, <laughs> yeah, I can't. Uh, you don't have a piston extractor or something. Dude, that coil yeah. looks like one of my beard hairs. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks like it looks like these two separate here. Yeah, but I can't uh, get get that unscrewed. So. I mean, you could see the. Uh, I don't. I just don't have the tools in here. Yeah, right that's now. fine. I, I don't think the, I have any. I've just got a pair of needles in here. You can see the internal part there, and that's got some kind of um, cotton sheet in it. So we'll put yeah. like a. It looked like it looked like all cotton in there when I was looking yeah. at it from the outside. Well, these, well, these, this with the two holes, this is just like that. Um, here we can get we can get the film out. You're out of frame, this by the way. Like, damn, Starrett shit is not cheap. No, it is. Starrett's expensive. They make really nice stuff. That's why. Why the fuck would they? Whatever who recommended it to me, but I'm like, I'm like on a fifty six dollar budget. <laughs> here's here's the um, here's that internal and external part. I want to. I have had right. a. Then, yeah, I want to see the coil mask. Did, were you able to get the coil yeah. out intact? Yeah. Well, no, not intact, but we can mostly intact. Kind of put it. Yeah, here, we'll put it back together. <clears throat> That's the thing I thought was the most impressive. Besides the fact the thing was hoof and yards. Uh, so there's the, the there's coil. Just, obviously, it's, it's stretched. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Uh, do you think that's so, 24? What is that? Uh, it's pretty thick. I don't have my... Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's close. If it's not 24, um, it's, I'd be surprised. You can see you got, you got the welded uh, edges here. Mm -hmm. It goes from two to one. Come on. Focus. There it is. Oh, oh, yeah. See it there? See the weld at yep. the end? Yep. Was that a high frequency weld? Uh, this is a uh, resistance on resistant. Ah. Uh, you know, for the ends. These, see, this is really soft. soft. Like that. Yeah, this is really soft here. And this is, this is pretty thick wire here. So, I mean, there's a. Uh, what's the resistance on it? Uh, uh, one see. of them is, this point, is point two eight. Two eight, yeah. yeah. This is point two eight, and uh, um, I don't have my. Uh, I don't even know what. I don't even have a gauge. I mean, you said it was what eight millimeter. Yeah, eight internal eight diameter. So, uh, one of them is point. The, the BVC, the other, the other coil is in there is a point five. The one yeah, that's in that. that comes this in at the, point two eight. This is what was around the outside. Yeah. Okay, and then this is the actual. This is this, this is all the cotton it's got. Besides the little yeah. nubs and the and the uh, yeah, heat. I'm surprised that's not much cotton at all. Uh, that that may be. I have not. So I'm running it at 91 watts, and I've I've got a, a, about a tank through it so far, and I haven't had a problem with it. Like it's wicking like a champ. So there's there's the. It's got like a, it's got like a, a, it's weird. It's like an actual sheet of cotton and then it's got like a thin piece and then another actual sheet of cotton. It's like they layered it. Oh. It's like, I don't know. Interesting. Weird. Yeah. Well, in any event, yeah. they've got yeah, fucking cute, huge coil heads. They seem to work pretty well. <laughs> I did not notice much of a break in on it. It came. Seem like it works great. It's just so outside of my wheelhouse, it was difficult for me to enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, the RBA deck was pretty seamless. Um, had more than enough space to push the coils in because it's a, it's a two-piece with the deck and the little barrel that goes over it. 
you know, I've had that issue with our with RTAs in the past where I have to like smush my coils into the post just to get the shit to fit with your cotton. Yeah. I never do too much of that. <coughs> um, I was going to ask you, Fu, when you wicked it, because I haven't tried the RB yet. I just tried the, I figured since you were trying this, I'd try the coil head. Um, the, uh, was there enough room for cotton? It looked like it might be a little tight. I didn't, I didn't have to trim. I didn't have to trim any to make it skinnier on the ends. Mm -hmm. It was a little like tight getting in there, but once you got it down and you want to, when you look through the juice holes, you want to barely see your wick. This sure. thing's been wicked and solid since. I don't, you know, no leaks, nothing. I haven't had any dry hits, so things working pretty damn well. So good. It's good. <clears throat> so I think that that thing is pretty, uh, pretty okay. I really like the 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 fill mechanism. It's really easy and a really nice solid click in and out. It feels it feels good. Uh, the the clicks on the the airflow are good, but uh, you do need to break those in. So if you get one new. I had to really get mine. I, I, the Fu and I both didn't think it had an adjustment. It was that tight at first, but once you do it, then it that ball bearing kind of gets uh, gets broken in. What's A B you say? Uh, first time, first time tight. Second time, all right. <laughs> um, uh, so that thing was pretty cool. Where is the? Where are my notes? Is there anything else I was going to talk about that? No, that's it. Um, well, I was telling people in chat we talk about starred calipers. I yeah. found a pair for under hundred bucks. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they're dial calipers, and that's you know I've used dial calipers before, and they're great. You just have to know how to use them, and for measuring small shit, you know they can be an issue, but it can. It depends thing, on the scale. Yeah. Thing, the they make solid thing? shit. If you've had, if you've used their shit before, it's great. It's like you're replacing uh, Christmas lights. <laughs> Or oh, ADM. Could put, I could I could build a Nixie tube in here. Look at that. <laughs> so shit. really good. I don't have any use for an eighty dollar pair of calipers, unfortunately. So won't yep. stop me from maybe buying a pair. <laughs> no, I just need a. I just I'm probably gonna pick up like a slightly more expensive set that has them easier to remove battery. Mm-hmm. Because uh. My the cheapies that I use are Chinese, whatever, no names, and they uh, not only do they drain the batteries after a couple of months, they also uh, I had to go in and do a little doctoring with the contacts of the batteries. It, it got mm -hmm. all fucked up at some point. It quit working, so I had to get in there with some thin needle nose and get them repositioned right um, so that they would actually work. Because otherwise, I would have just chunked. Like this probably looks familiar to a lot of people. These are just the basic like ten dollar, hundred and fifty millimeter ones you can get on Amazon. That's the contact. Yep. And this is the fucking flimsy ass, whatever, getting it on there. So, totally. I mean, it gets the job done. I've had these for like a year or two, and I just, I do basic measuring with this shit. So, um, so back to what I was going to talk about a minute ago before we got into that. Um, we were talking about microfiber cloths a couple weeks ago, and uh, and Nathan Grigar. Uh, post a link in the Po uh, the Po group now. It is for microfiberwholesale.com, um, and to be perfectly honest, I thought it was a phishing site. Like I thought it was, <laughs> thought it was something bad. So I generated my uh, a specific credit card number for you for purchasing from there because uh, oh it looks sketch as hell. But that said, they got my order and they shipped it. And they came in. Uh, so I have here uh, a couple of them that I bought. This is uh, so massive. You know, we were talking about the the cool set, the cool one that we got at Tampa a long time ago, right? Um, this guy. They've got a couple different styles there at the at this this place, and one of which was their premium, uh, their premium weave, which looked uh, on the pictures very similar to the ones that we had uh, from down there. So instead mm -hmm. of being like terry cloth style, right, like like this, yep. Well, you get real open. This is real flat. Um, so I so I got these these things. Uh, they're they're like stitched. They're stitched on the side, like double stitched. This big old stitch, um, mm -hmm. and they seem to be they seem to be pretty decent. And they were yeah. two dollars and fifteen nice. cents or something like that each. Um, so I actually bought several and I <laughs> gave some to my wife. It's like here, maybe you can use a microfiber cloth. Um, True. They seem to be working okay so far. I haven't I used clean them. glass with mine. Best thing to clean when it's the best thing to like clean your windshield with and shitter and the yeah. inside because it doesn't like paper towels leave fibers and streaks and shit. 
Right. And in theory, um, I don't think these would because they're nice and flat. And they don't feel like... Darrow says, looks like my underwear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nate said, I wouldn't post anything sketchy. I, I don't know, man. It, it looks sketchy. <laughs> it looks sketchy. <clears throat> but they did, like I said, they did send stuff. And uh, and I actually haven't checked that card to see I mean, if they to charge anything else. <laughs> do you remember when GoDaddy for, had their first uh, Super Bowl ad? Did you think it was an internet domain hosting site? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that should look super sketch at first. <laughs> it did. Um, it did. But they do have the thing. They are two dollars, which is a lot cheaper than you can get nice ones at uh, at other places that like Amazon and stuff. Um, because that's where I got these other ones, and these these ones are fine. Um, but like I said, they're the they're the ones with like the more terry cloth style loops. Um, yep. And and they're supposed to be market fiber, so they're soft. But um, but I would trust this other weave. A lot more for not leaving lint because it's like I said, it's almost plasticky feeling, right? It's real flat, mm -hmm. <clears throat> real flat. Um, so that's cool. Anyway, it's microfiberwholesale.com. Uh, uh, use it's your own risk <laughs> if, if they steal your credit card shit. I don't want to hear about it. Um, <laughs> microfiber wholesale, not vapor shark wholesale. Correct. I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, haven't heard, I haven't heard much from them recently. You know, somebody was just talking about them earlier in the show in chat. I think it was Duro. Was oh, like, they're like, yeah, really stuck for some reason, not carrying like magnet detents or something like spare ones. I'm like magnet detents. What? Um, for I don't even uh, what? Anyway. Um. um so there's that. Uh, we can talk briefly about um, about the Swaron drop. Now, well, um, a gentleman flagged me down. What? I was gonna say, do you want to mix it up? Mix up for what? Sure. Yeah, go. Oh, I think I was actually gonna. I think me and Matthew think about the same thing. Do it. I think you posted yeah. earlier in the week. Yeah. I yeah. Got it, I got yeah. it ready to yeah. screen share. Do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Click on me for a second. Clicking now. <laughs> so, does anyone remember that scene in Shawshank Redemption when Andy finally gets his library? <laughs> and they're like, they tell him, please stop sending us letters. Yes. Do that to me. So, but I'm not uh, stopping the juice of fictions. If you uh, if you hadn't heard or seen on the Plumes page, um, did do some pushing and prodding from uh, our investigative journalist Ahmed Lakani. Um, we have um, basically found out that uh, Wrigley's actually uh, has sued none other than your boys. Let's get it here real big. Get yeah. wrecked juices. Well, it's well named. Oh. Well named. Well named. Um, the site's being a uh, fagoot right now because uh, of all the traffic. They have uh, basically blocked people from seeing the article unless you have a subscription. So they can suck it. But anyways, long story short, uh, confectionery brand Wrigley is suing uh, U.S.-based e-cigarette company Get Wrecked Juices and its manager for infringing its Skittles and Starburst trademarks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not going to end well. No. Yeah, well, no. Um, uh, if you if you read through it, it was blatant use of images, uh, slogans, um, I guess sayings um, that, you know. But they called uh, them scrattles. Yeah. Yeah, and now they're going to get straddled. <laughs> <laughs> boom. Uh, boom. So there you go. Uh, uh, Ahmed, I don't know if, you, if the one that you have has more information on it. than No, than same amount part of bullshit. Of okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's just the best, you know, screen. I mean, screen what other details are there? Like, they were using someone else's shit without permission for a long time. They finally noticed. Pretty and much. But they're going to get, but. The thing, uh, the thing that gets me is, is that they received cease and desist. They received, you know, like threatening letters saying, you know, this is this is not this didn't just happen overnight. This has but been going on. Just said they said, they, he said they ignored three season to says letters. Yeah, this has been going on for over, I think, two years. And Wrigley's has been going after people doing this. So mm -hmm. what they fucking think was going to happen? You know, now 
you got to lawyer up, bitches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But again, you know. these are fucking idiots running these companies. <laughs> you're gonna be like, oh, it's going to be like a fucking water yeah. bill. They're going to be like, oh, fuck them. Nah. Yeah. Now, now you know, that angsty, that I, 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 if, you know, if money was no object, I could have fought that. Yeah. Everyone who fought against the, you know, certain patent trolls that came after me uh, always won. But, you know, it was going to be like $1,600, $2,000 later. Right. That's stupid. That is stupid. You know, stupid. you got to weigh what you got going on. Well, these guys, no, these aren't patent trolls. This is you being an well, asshat. That, and, uh, that and the fact that you were blatantly stealing graphics and logos right. off other crap. You, you did something that Correct. To because bear right, a because similar name, name and they, yep. they didn't yep. like that. Yeah, this, I mean, this is just crazy. And, um, you know, you, you know, uh, Wrigley's has to defend their, their, uh, their IP. So, sure. as well. um, there you go. So, and I think the worst part was these guys were on, I mean, they have got screen caps of these guys bragging about it. Like, you know, they ain't gonna do shit. Well, yeah. So, there you go. Dur Dur said they're gonna sell out of court, which I think is true, but he said, I doubt we'll get Rex will pay out. I'm, uh, not pay out. They can force a shutdown of their company at this point. Yeah. If it, and all their assets, assets. All their assets. Go they got solid to liquid. Yep. Those stupid fucking dirt bikes you bought with all your juice money. Yeah, they're mine now. Yep. <laughs> all the Lambos. All, all the Maseratis. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Angsty. I can make it through that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mm, couldn't do it. Okay, Anxie, go ahead. We're just caught, mixing that caught, up. Caught in my throat. No, it's good. I'm glad you mixed it up. Um, so the what I was going to talk about is the Swan Drop. Now, a a very cool hooligan uh, flagged me down at Showcase and uh, in Dallas a couple of months ago, and and wanted to give me uh, give me this thing to try it. And I'll be damned if I can find his name or company number or company name anywhere. So I'm very sorry that I don't have your name handy. I looked everywhere at my desk uh, and could not find your card. But anyway, uh, so thank you to the the distribution guy that gave me this thing to try out. Um, so that said, and, and ping me on, on Facebook. I looked all through our Facebook chats and stuff, couldn't find shit. Anyway, I'll give you a shout out next time uh, for this. So I, I keep hearing that this thing is, you know, so much better than the swore on this guy that I bought from Gaslight. Um, and I, so fine, I'll give it a whack. The one thing that this thing has over this one is it's really it's easy to know where to suck on uh, on this one because ah. this one it's it's one of these corners and you just never quite know. Uh, Sucking which, on a Swiss card. Yeah, um, <clears throat> this thing is surprisingly heavy, so it's real thin, right? It's it's nice and slim. It's very rounded. The black one is a fingerprint magnet, um, <clears throat> but it. Is is quite hefty. Like it, it doesn't feel like a cheap piece of plastic. Like it actually has got a little, a little weight to it. In fact, it feels. I mean, it's significantly heavier than the than the drop, or not the drop, the the air. And uh, in in a good way. Like it, it feels like pretty substantial. The the color, the black one is like is like this shiny, um, fingerprinty kind of attractive thing. The other colors are all like kind of a matte rubbery feel, um, which is kind of I don't know, kind of interesting, um, but. A, I figured I'd just try the black one because, well, you know, why not? Because it shows off really well here on the show. That's why I wanted to try it. Not, not really. I just didn't want to walk around town with a, a very a cool little thing. Now, the thing that gets me about it, it does <coughs> 50 milligram Nick and sore throat did not work well together. Um, it takes a couple primer puffs to kind of get going. To heat up, it does not heat up quickly, but once it does get going, it seems to be pretty good. Um, the the little little thing has got two uh, fill ports. Uh, if you open them both up, it, you know one of them can be an air vent, which is nice because a lot of these things you go to fill them up and uh, and you're having to fight against you know air trying to escape at the same time, and it can be a bit of a mess. This thing worked, worked pretty well. The problem with it is it's got um, the uh, let's get something to point at. Uh, the juice goes from here all the way down and around up to the other side. Uh, so it it's a little like if it's straight up empty, 
like you kind of have to like get them both open and then just keep going and then kind of rock it back and forth a little bit and maybe go from the other side. It's a little weird to fill up like that, but it does hold quite a bit of juice. It does use cotton in here and not uh, not silica, which is nice for those of us that don't want to use silica. Um, but it does wear out. I think it says for most uses, it, it recommends replacing the head after five refills, which seems to be, you know, relatively reasonable. Um, I know that there is a couple little things, by the way, it's nice little snap really, really gets in there really well. Um, it's difficult to tell when the battery is low, uh, cause it's got a light in here, but the light is it's inside there is where the light lights up. So when you're vaping on it, like it's, you can't tell, like it's, it's, it's inside your mouth almost, you know, where you can see the light. So that, that part's a little bit weird. Um, you have to be able to like, you have to be like, be able to hit like this. Like. Yeah. 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 You'd have to, <laughs> or have your buddy like, Hey, Hey, is my e-cig low? Um, which is a little odd, uh, but you know, it's got standard, you know, micro USB thingy on the bottom uh, and that charges it. And it seems to be charging fine. Um, it comes when I, when I first got it, it did have, most of a charge already on it, which is nice too. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's that. I think that thing's pretty cool. I still personally kind of like the jewel. Um, I like the fact that you can refill this with whatever you want. I've got Nick salts in here at the moment. That's your salty <coughs> or appleberry. Um, and, and I like that part of it, but there's, I, there's still something about the, the form factor of, of the, of the jewel that I really do quite dig. Uh, there's something about how this thing feels um, and it kind of disappears into the pocket and you don't really notice it until you want it. And you, you, can hold it. It. you can hold it in your mouth, most importantly. And you can hold it in your mouth, which is really nice. This thing you definitely cannot. Like it's, it's heavy. <laughs> That's going to fall out. Yeah. It's heavy. And this one, it's in your right. It's a little more cigarette. And you know what's stupid? The little double tap uh, battery indicator thingy. It's stupid, but I love it. I It's the, the magnet recharger base is stupid and i love it like if mm -hmm. those little things just make it feel like a really nice device um but it works and and plugging in things works perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with this um but if this thing had a little little stand you know charge an extra dollar for it or whatever right just have a little stand a little magnet thing would be really badass and something like this um, because it's the because you can't do that with this. We plug this shit in. We can't. We don't have a magnetic. Right. It's like that's part of what these are. Those setups are supposed to be the more gadgety ones, right? Right. So I can do uh, it. It does look like a, a giant guitar pick. That's a very accurate uh, statement. <sighs> what or a mirror? Because you know dignity. I, don't, I didn't catch the what Will was talking about. Sorry. Oh, you're talking about not knowing about the light. And having your buddy check your light for you, like, just, you know, <laughs> yeah. doing a mirror. Yeah, yeah. Does this light make me look fat? Yeah. No, it just makes you look. <laughs> Do you guys? Uh, are you <coughs> done, Nancy? Sorry, I was coughing, Matthew. What? You done? Yeah. Uh, did you guys see the? Um, uh, there was a trial um, in, I believe it was in. Uh, in the UK, and uh, it said, uh, "Isic trial leads to improved behavior at prison." Mm. Uh, trial of uh, Isigs at the Isle of Man prison led to uh, improved behavior and more prisoners seeking stop smoking support. Uh, the probation service and the public health department ran a six-month trial last year, allowing prisoners to use Isig devices instead of traditional nicotine replacement patches, which had previously been supplied. Um, Basically, it said it was the first in Europe to ban smoking in 2008 and saw a 58% drop in behavior warnings and a 42% fall in offender uh, adjudications. Uh, it's also estimated that the trial showed the prison could save around uh, 8,500 euro in the cost of nicotine replacement therapy annually. That's got to be more than that. Um, after smoking was banned, prisoners devised ways to smoke tea bags, banana skins, and other items mixed with nicotine soaked from patches. The prison. Sorry. Hang on, so the, fucking the, kiddish. The, I don't know why tea bags got me and me and at the same time. Because they're so fucking remember, British, they're going to try and smoke them. Remember what? What were some of the first uh, uses for the tea bags here? It was for the for replacing cotton. Mm -hmm. eh? 
The prison plans to continue to allow the users e cigs for the foreseeable future, but more will be done to monitor the possession of the devices. Yeah, because you can make them into fucking shanks. You stab them and then you put eighty milligram in them. Boom! That's right. Boom. You can't. You can't do any kind of behavior modification if the dude is dead. So, there you go. Uh, this was. Uh, I will put the link in chat. I think see if you could paste up, paste up. <clears throat> there you go. Kind of interesting. This is interesting. Ta-da! Ta-da! How, how much weight gain uh, are actually, there prisoners when they first ban smoking? That's a good statistic. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. In 2008, yeah, they probably had to had to bring in uh, bring in vaping to uh, to help them thin out. People's uh, um, co- fruit cocktails was getting stolen. Yeah. Sp- speaking of uh, speaking of a close call, uh, did you guys see this? Uh, watch this. Yeah. Hold on. Let me click on you. Is this from your cam? Now this isn't your cam. Oh God. Ooh, every time I see it, I'm like, oh. Yeah, start over. Do it again. I don't think it comes. Yep, here it goes. Mm. So close. She jumps out of the car. I'll right make before. that two insurance settlements. Mm. Yeah, right Right before that. They're like, I think she would have been fine. I mean, I think she would have been the, fine. It's the worst idea to get out of your car. Yeah, I think she would have been just fine. I mean, there's nobody in the passenger seat. And uh, anyways... I mean, <clears throat> stuff shit's scary, right? I, my, um, I don't know if I, if I should say this. We have a, a, a family friend that was down in Houston that was uh, down there leading a team uh, helping people, uh, hurricane victims still, right? I mean, that's been, what, a year and a half? Or something? Mm-hmm. And those guys are still hurting on that. They need a lot of help. And, uh, and <clears throat> this family friend was down there doing just, just down there for charity. And, uh, and he was driving a car and uh, and got hit by somebody and it fucked him up. He's yeah. got like, he's been down there, I think, for two months. He can't, he can't leave. He's at the hospital down there. He's had a dozen Dang. surgeries, like all kinds of crazy shit. And if he was out of a car, it had to, I'm sure it would have been worse. But yeah. he was in the car and he got crushed basically in there. It was, it was bad news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not to change uh, the bad news uh, going, but this could be bad news, uh, depending on how you look at it. Um, <clears throat> saw this guy uh, by the name of Coding Arduino uh, posted on Reddit saying, uh, hey, I took uh, uh, my old Nightcore internals and salvaged them by laser cutting um, and making it into another four bay charger. Um, he said the docking mechanism broke on the old Nightcore. Well, I think that he could have covered the battery terminals a little bit better um, because you mean like at okay, all? That's, <laughs> hell yeah, like at all. Uh, well, here's 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 a big problem, man. Not too bad there. Um, hello, what's going on with that terminal there? No. Um, something something don't seem right right there. Uh, you got crackage. I'm sure it's because he had to cut them to get them to go down. So, uh, I mean, you know, hey, cool idea. You got to to save your stuff, but um, you know, man, so nice up here with the with the. Um, let me get this freaking drawing out of the way here. Um, you know, with the oh, come on, clear all with the top cover, but and then you know, then the whole bottom part is just wide open. So, mm, not sure how I feel about that. But. Yeah, should have I mean, made a, a plexiglass lid that pops up that'd be cool or even or even just to cover all the way around like yeah. if he if he would have would have you know filled something up you know around here well here's and, you know i know that like uh there are headphone amps out there that like that kind of design is what what's hot with like diy yeah. headphone amps so maybe that was inspired by that i have no idea doesn't make it smart though at least because you're dealing with batteries here yeah, yeah. batteries. And especially since the positive is facing down towards yeah. the bottom. Yes. So, uh, well, there you go. And, and I'm, I'm all about like recovering and fixing stuff <coughs> as I can around my house. Um, mm-hmm. But at the same time, those charges are like sixteen dollars. I mean, they're they're not expensive. That's that's the sort of solution. How much? You right. Just, how much time and money did it take you to, you know? 
oh, to do the sa- that, satisfaction so. of the project, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, That's I, 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 I kind of get it, but at the same time, be smart about it. Be smart about it. Yeah, smarter. I mean, you know, I, I get the whole recycling thing. I mean, this was me uh, a few hours ago um, fixing my daughter's. Uh, <laughs> yes, <clears throat> fixing my daughter's uh, uh, little uh, touch screen plaything, and uh, yeah, my sister got that for her as a gift, and she is a uh, destructo. Uh, just like I was. I, I feel like I've been preparing my whole life for the kid growing up just like me, destroying everything. Mm-hmm. So I can fix it and put it back. But honestly, it wasn't so much her fault as the, the, the shitty... Um, let's see if I can zoom in here. Like, these... Uh, it's, it's you know, grainy. But anyways, there's, like, no solder on these things. And, and that whole piece, like, swivels. And the wires are just snapped off. Uh-huh. You know, so I went through and resoldered the power wires and, you know, she's sitting there playing with on the couch and just died. She's like, uh, she's flipping the switch back and forth. And so what is this <laughs> shit? <laughs> yeah, she's like, just, you know, of course, go through the motions of batteries, you know, everything, throw it on the ground once, see maybe if it starts working. A little mm-hmm. percussive. Oh, main give her, give her a football so, if she's going to spike shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not giving her anything that has enough mass to, uh, Poke a hole in the TV or not. Oh, some true. Off. Okay, give her one so, of those plush ones then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I have uh, I have one more thing to actually, actually you know what? We're speaking of batteries, we'll talk about this one thing. Do it. So one of one of the things that people have been just going cuckoo for the last Cocoa Pops. couple of months um, has been getting really tired of these. This is an 18650 mm. battery. Most people are pretty familiar with these things, and they're they're just wanting something different, right? Enter the 21700. This thing, you know what? And it doesn't look that <coughs> different here on the screen. In person, this thing is enormous. It's not 26650 wide, obviously. I mean, you can tell by the numbers in the thing, right? Those numbers mean something. <coughs> this thing, however, though, is really really big and significantly heavier uh, than this thing. The problem is not only the size and not only the weight, the problem is, so I, I went and spoke to uh, our, our friend, Mr. Welcome Mooch to the show. He is just at their chat. I can really welcome Mooch. Mass, do you have the intro ready? I got it. Do it. Welcome Mooch, who is not too busy. Uh, with his own video show to show up to ours. Welcome. <laughs> Do you watch chat. Battery Mooch's YouTube videos, by the way? They're Absolute, Absolutely. Mind your maws. Check it out. Mind your maws. Um, so here's the problem with this thing. Um, I, when I reached out to Mooch, I needed to know if there was a good one to buy, right? He's got all these different things. His battery uh, uh, chart was down uh, when I when I was needing this information. So I did ping him specifically and ask him about it. He said that there are three 21700 batteries that if you're vaping over uh, 30 amp or well over 30 watts, I think is what he said, which I do when I'm dripping, um, that you need to buy one of these three, right? Two of them apparently aren't, you're not able to buy them anywhere. Like I wasn't able to find them on the internets. And I've, I looked in a lot of places on the internet. The only one that I was able to find was this one, the iJoy 37, uh, 3750 Ma. Now, I haven't used these yet because the mod that, I, that I'm going to be testing uh, that uses them isn't here yet. But here's what I'm going to guess. And this is admittedly a wild-ass guess. But most of the time, with a battery <coughs> such as this, this is a Sony 5A battery. It's really good uh, high discharge. This is what I use on all my unregulated stuff. <clears throat> We're rated to 2600 mAh, right? When I get a really good discharge on this, on an unregulated mod, I get around 1,700 mod back into it, okay? So where, you know, you lose, what, 900 mod on this guy. That means to me, and this is, again, I'm guessing, but I'm going on longstanding uh, experience with lots of the different ones of these and longstanding uh, experience also with 26650s. I'm going to guess that... I'm going to be able to get maybe 2,600 mob back into this. 
by the time it's discharged down to where I'm not going to be able to use it anymore in a mod. Now, Mooch's graphs are much more scientific than this, and they'll actually show you exactly where it's going to be. But mine's more of a practical experience where it's while the battery might still have three and a half volts in it, and and Mooch's tests go much lower than that. What I find is you can't really use it at that point, right? Most uh, either regulated stuff or unregulated stuff is just shitty at that point. Once it hits around three and a half volts, it's pretty much done, right? That that cycle is finished. So what I'm guessing is is on this much larger, much heavier battery uh, battery, I'm gonna get maybe six or seven hundred mah extra over this. And by the way, again, this is the only model I was ever to, I was able to find anywhere. Uh, Anywhere that's reasonable. You know how many different kinds of ones of these out there, depending on what you need? Lots and lots and lots because it's an industry standard. <clears throat> and you can rip them out of your Tesla. And not to mention, and you can rip them out of your Tesla. Not to mention how much, like, the noticeable size, like, is, I think we said this earlier when we first started talking about it, is the potential size increase in the mod worth the potential? No. Bob, that's exactly my point. I don't, I don't understand why you would want. Now, granted, the mod that I get is probably that takes this fuck large battery. It probably will fit my hand better than some of my other mods, some of my other unregular mods, which actually are kind of small, right? They're maybe even a little bit too small. But the reason I deal with the fact that they're a little bit too small in the hand is they carry really well. So when I'm not sitting here at my desk, I can throw them in my pocket and we're all right, right? This thing might be a little more comfortable in the hand. That's going to make the bot the mod larger and heavier for a, in my opinion not really useful like pro on the other side of it well fucking look, annoying. look at this i'm asking for this shit, people well look at it this way i take i take a single battery 21700 mod to work or whatever full day i'm still taking an extra battery with me regardless absolutely that's fine but i'm still taking an extra battery yeah. so exactly so now you have to carry you have to carry a larger mod, heavier mod, and a larger, heavier battery to back up. And I don't wear cargo pants, god damn it. Right. And if in the in the winter I'm wearing jeans, man. I don't have to carry fucking a, Well, I have a yeah, I have a bag, which is whatever, but it's just yeah. a matter of you know, remember 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 those belt tighteners I told you about. Belt tighteners. Yeah. No, they they did the same thing with twenty six six twenty six six fifties a couple of years ago. And most people have been around for a while. Remember that? We said they were stupid then. They were stupid. They never improved on the cell. And there was no need to because these <laughs> have a much narrower use than 18650s because flashlights and shit. Right. You know? But um, if that's oh, your thing, that's your thing. But for, you know, for us. Mooch did comment. He said the 21700s aren't a great option right now. The 2700s are better. And I, I mean, I guess you save a whole millimeter on the diameter, right? Not but, as girthy. <sighs> I It'll just slip in easier. Uh, Don't need as much. Stick with industry standard, please. That's the mod makers, please, please. Can we get some Z2 threading as a standard for Fox? <laughs> 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 uh, um, horror, they do fit. Uh, I I put mine in my VC4. They fit fine in there, and I, it met, maxed out that that sled. That's for damn sure. Um, but they did fit in there. I think my luck four would take. In the middle, I'm guessing, size, but yeah, don't need them. Yeah, I'm guessing so. Cannot. Um, there is one last thing I would like to say. Um, I got a package in from uh, a certain uh, Mr. Addy Tooney today, and he said a while back that he was working on uh, because he had sent very kindly sent us uh, <coughs> stainless Clapton's. And I personally hate stainless because I can taste it, I just, I just don't like vaping on it. So he said he's been just experimenting with canthal, and he sent over a little little packet of some test canthal claptons, which I uh, I thoroughly appreciate. So thank you, sir. I will try to get these into something uh, soon and give them a whack. Um, I'm going to take your word for it that they're canthal, uh, and, and it won't taste bad. <laughs> um, I think, and and just like every other time I've gotten something from Addy Tooney, they always come in these fun little boxes. And they've always got a little card with with what they're made out of, which I really appreciate because uh, I forget sometimes, and it's nice because I, I had another set of coils that somebody gave me. Oh, at showcase, I have fucking no, I have no idea what what they are, and I, I'm probably not even going to use them at this point because I don't remember where they are. But 
Eddie's already, he's always got it done. So I appreciate it, sir. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. <coughs> yeah, that made a funny noise. Yeah. That made yeah. Nah, it's alive. alive. Ooh. Alive. The whistles go woo. Um, I am an X-Star fan, X fanboy, not because of X-Star. I just like knowing how much power I put back in the battery. And nothing else tells you that. Oh, and by the <coughs> way, the Scion 2 is $25. Oh, word. Not a the, the RBA price. head doesn't come with it, does it? I don't think it does. Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, uh, it must be so. I'm on Vapor DNA right now. I'm looking... But uh, in case anybody's wondering, John A is saying they do fit in the night car, the night core charger, the 27, 21700s do. If anybody else is they have a rainbow colored one, what the fuck, Anakin? <laughs> they do. They do. <clears throat> there's a bunch, of, there's a fuckload of colors with this drop thing, too. Um, and there's a bunch of these as well. <clears throat> the little uh, pocket mods. Anakin's got a bunch of colors for these things, too. Here's a. <laughs> Here's a random thought of uh, something that's going on tomorrow. Uh, if you're not watching or you don't know, uh, Elon and his uh, team are launching his uh, oh, Tesla car oh. up into space tomorrow on top of the Falcon Heavy rocket. All right. While it plays David Bowie's, uh, I forget what song it is. Rocket Man? <clears throat> so is that I'm wondering. App, huh? Is that Elton John? I thought it was, I thought it was David Bowie. I don't I'm know. not sure. Anyway. I'm pretty sure. Um, but anyways, I'm wondering when when those rockets go off course and you know they got to self detonate. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if there's enough explosives up there to completely uh, shred that car. Wait, so they're launching a car? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so they, yeah, so they're they have to test a rocket with uh, with a weight payload. Uh -huh. And uh, the car comes close to the test weight, so instead of just putting, you know, lead up there or some shit to shoot up, he's shooting his car while the radio's playing, and there's like a mannequin sitting in the car. Dude, so, I could totally use that car. Give me the Model S. I would totally drive it. <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna put up. the car. They're gonna put. No, they're not gonna blow it up. They're gonna put the car in orbit. That's dumb. Why would they you put a car in orbit? Exhumed body in there? And then guess what happens when that low orbit ends? It comes and it just burns what, up in the atmosphere. What comes up comes back down. Yeah, and all that all that lithium shit just gonna just go spreading out through everywhere. It's gonna sprinkle. It's gonna sprinkle all over Texas, just like I don't know. That's not a good joke. Never mind. Um. So. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I, I wonder. You know, if that rocket goes off course and they have to detonate it, I wonder if there's enough explosives on there to. To you know, completely. I'm just, I'm just picturing watching the fucking rock go, <laughs> just going out the side. So I just wonder about that. But yeah, that's tomorrow. Um, so check that out. Oh, that's yes. Yeah. I wasn't correcting you, nasty. Uh, Nate, Marketing. I wasn't correcting you a minute ago. By the way, when I said Rocket Man, I was, I was correcting myself that Elton John said that, not because you had said David Bowie, and I said Rocket Man. I was like, wait, no, that's 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 Elton John. Anyway. Yeah. So we knew, uh, nasty. Yeah. We knew a rocket it, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, yeah. It, it ought to be pretty interesting. You know, that's that's one of the things after seeing the shuttle launches. Um, you know, none of these little, none of these little bottle rockets compare. <laughs> and, and so this one, this one will come close. <coughs> yep. so. Did you read the twenty seven hundreds right? comment? No, I was laughing at Willie. Who said they're going to attach the Tesla to a Pioneer for you. <laughs> it goes all across the carpet. So they got a Pioneer for you mod on there with a robot just waiting to push the fire button with a shorted Addy. <laughs> it's, it's sitting right on top of the battery packs. <laughs> They'll have the camera in there. Just oh, what was the name of that mech box that short had a shorting problem? The cherry oh, bomber, the cherry, cherry bomber. bomber, yeah, yeah. The cherry bomber. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you had to touch the addy. You had a screwdriver to the addy and the butt and the body. I I heard a certain high end, uh, high end mech squonker does the same thing. 
Mm-hmm. I just heard that the other day. I haven't been able to prove it yet because I don't. Uh, do you want to put the name of it in chat so I can giggle like a schoolgirl? <laughs> I'll tell you later. All right. <laughs> does it have diamonds on it? Uh, it does not have diamonds on no, it. It's like, not Gucci okay. Mane's mod. It's also not made okay. in the states. You mean you mean Gucci's four twenties mod? <laughs> um. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. All right. I think that's all I got to talk about this week. That's all I have to say about that. That's all I have to say about that. Oh, did I talk yeah. about coil vapes? Dean sent me yeah. the peanut butter moussey that yeah, we were talking I, about I, last week. Yeah, I finished. I actually finished my bottle uh, this morning. Um, so thank mm-hmm. you, Dean. Appreciate that. I'm going to give this thing a whack. It was good. It's mousse. a good juice. It's a good juice. I think he's only group buying it right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you are anti Facebook, then I guess that sucks for you. But there is a coil vapes group, and he does do group buys and such in there. I think he also does group buys in the Bolt group. Uh, which Bolt is group? Bolt BF. Oh, Bolt. So, hey, if Duro can do the gay thing and join a Facebook group to get a mod, which he did, he bought a limo <laughs> and he got it. And, uh, he fucking and with it. that, fucking and with that, it. folks, speaking about gay things, uh, that'll be it. So uh, peace out tonight. We'll leave you with some, uh, some good stuff. Uh, have a good night. Y'all take care. Uh, take care. Peace. 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 Adiós, muchachos.